So KEZ Chiefs management are reportedly trying to sign a second assistant coach and we're going to be looking at who that coach is. We're also going to be looking at Fernando Cruz, Cedric Kazi, Atazwane and also uh, I've just heard rumors about Tuki and Dolly. But of course, before we dive more into the details and giving us everything that I have, please do make sure to like the video and also if this is your first time seeing Football Trends with QP, my code is your subscriber or click on the bell notification so that next time when I post new video you get notified so let me just quickly start with the rumors so i've heard a lot of reports saying with yeah okay and dolly is back at nashore and the rumors you know but for me uh, i have to tell you guys what to know uh oh okay and dolly was not spotted at nashore but he is he was spotted at super sport united so it looks like he's trying to get back there because we know there are a lot of teams a lot of clubs that are interested in signing him but he decided oh, to know as in me i want a club that is going to suit my needs so i don't know what's happening for sure sure but i do know what he was spotted back at isuba sport united and then yesterday i remember correctly i've reported about the coach Adazwana moving to amazon fc unfortunately at the time that i finished the recording and uploading the video it was already too late uh basically signing a contract so yeah i have to say it's a done deal he has signed and he had something to say in terms of case chiefs and with dr keza mtawong so he says i will definitely like to extend my deepest gratitude to dr keza mtawong for the unwavering support also his guidance and love throughout my chief's career as a player and a coach his belief in me has allowed me to grow from a player to a development coach to the head coach i'm truly thankful for the opportunities the club has provided they've shaped not just my career but my life so thank you to case chiefs and thank you to the chairman coach yes this might have come as a shock to a lot of us nami i was shocked myself included but i think it's going to be a great relationship uh, working alongside with o coach villagazi hopefully they are going to do something with uh, amazon fc because looking at their first three games eh, but let's hope coach Adazwane is going to bring some light and joy into that team of Amazon FC because if you look at two coach Adazwane Bafetu he's not a bad coach obviously he is he's had his differences with us the fans because of you know some of the situations I cannot explain but taking a look at Adazwane Bafetu he's a great coach he has experience especially Jean Wanjie he was there at Naturena he gained a lot of experience that's one thing I do know he has that leadership quality Okon and Alapanago player development obviously he has worked with some of the young and experienced players so i think he is gonna focus more in terms of bringing out the talent that they need la panagumazula fc he also has like local knowledge so it's gonna be easier for him you know to coach la Pana because he understands how uh, local football plays you know the psl the teams and everything and another thing before Kotla, umchita very blinding and motivation when it comes to motivation i speak to others one of the two i think he's going to inspire the team to perform better and achieve uh, their goals so overall i think this is going to improve the performance yeah okay amazulu fc and we're gonna see them having that winning mentality or something i think something great is going to come out of this basically yeah, moving on to coach fernando de cruz buffet we have spoken about this guy for the longest time obviously he was the first member to arrive la pena naturena and he brought that much needed hope to tie case chiefs are doing things the right way this time around but uh you know we really were into that what happened and we ended up losing the guy so for me i, I don't want to dwell much into those details but i just want to give you what i do have and what i do know so i've heard a lot of requests asking me what is going on with the what is going on with fernando da cruz or Cedric Kaze because we have been waiting and nothing is being said so in terms of fernando da cruz you remember the situation with Mela Patale at the amount of the contract because he did not finish his contract so he was supposed to pay that amount and it looks like he's failing to pay that amount so case chiefs decided there's any let's just uh give this matter to our legal team and they will sort it out because umchita as i'm speaking with you 
Brazil. He's currently in Morocco. He's working on his new club, but in the Bazaar up as Pelanga. And I think it's one of the reasons why uh, Singambono coach Cedric Kaze coming to Gaza just because he was interested in working alongside coach Nardin Nabi. Yes, everything was put in place, but it looks like he did not sign. And the reason why is not clear, but it might happen because Fernando de Cruz failed to pay his money and Kumbule, they even made it easier for him because he was supposed to pay for the whole two years but they said no we just need you to pay for the three months that you've worked with us and then everything will be done but it looks like they failed and he's working that side so that's why we see his case being uh, led to you know the legal team and then last but not least buffet to so there are those rumors that are running out there tour uh, a case chiefs management is talking with to benny mccarthy and they are thinking of bringing him along so it looks like instead of getting cedric kazi and instead of you know finishing in the Basabo, no fernando cruz it looks like they've opted which as in let's just sign up benny mccarthy now i'm not too sure where is he going to fit in the picture but uh, a second assistant coach obviously some zero coach knows it in nabi akala maloko i should list bunny and it's it's a bit more if i don't have uh, this second assistant coach so i need my first and second assistant coach to be there and for me personally i think it's going to benefit the team if ever they are going to bring in obeni mccarthy now why in shoganjena obviously umchita has worked with some of the best teams and looking at history like currently he worked with the manchester united and looking at the striking department so okay Kaiser chiefs i think we definitely need someone like Upeni mccarthy so if ever Kaiser chiefs are really 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 pursuing umchita and they are going to sign him i think it's going to to be a bonus for us because he has experience you know he has experience in terms of the striking department and also he has a proven track record uh he has international experience leadership and motivation local knowledge again which is going to be a bonus into the local knowledge and also international knowledge so i i think overall but for you ah, there's something that we can see if ever case chiefs are going to sign obeni mccarthy so i think we need this guy so that he can improve some of our players i'm not saying we have bad players we do have good players but you know whenever you are lacking the good uh you know coaching that you need specifically for lento leus konugi mastara I think we can see more. Yes, Ranga Shivaviro is coming on right, but we still have a situation with uh, the likes of Abo Ashley Dupreeze, Kristen Saile. Uh, Wandele Tubanai is coming on right. It looks like we are using an intercolumial coach, Nazadin Nabi. But I think if ever we can add Obeni McCarthy, just like they are trying to pursue him, that would be a bonus for us because definitely we're going to see some major improvements, even though we still don't have uh, the strikers that we do need. Jongoba Ashilu coach, Nazadin in Nabuti. I need the best of the best uh, quality strikers so that he can play for KZ Chiefs. So, where now? What do you think down in the comment section below? Mbogele, please let me know your thoughts.